a little bit of algebra do. So part A, we're asked to expand and simplify. So we're going to do three times the x, three x, plus three times the four, so three times x, and three times four, which is 12, plus two times five x, which is 10 x, so two times five x, and then two times negative one, which is negative two, so we've expanded there, and then collect the like terms together, 3x plus 10x, 13x, 12 take away 2 is 10. Part B, expand and simplify. 2x plus 1 times x minus 4. Well, that's going to equal the 2x times all of this. Plus the 1 times all of this. And this is pretty much no different from what we've done up here. 2x times x, 2x squared, 2x times 4. So we did 2x times x, then we did 2x times negative 4. So negative 8x. Then we do 1 times x, and then 1 times negative 4. 1 times x is x, 1 times negative 4 negative 4 and then the final part is collect your like terms together 2x squared negative 8x plus x is negative 7x and we still have this negative 4 that's part b done and then part c factorize completely this is giving you a hint if it says completely it means a number and a letter needs to be factored out so what number can I divide into 6 and 9? 3. And what letter can I divide into y squared and xy? It must be y. So now I ask myself the question, what do I multiply 3y by to make 6y squared? 3 times 2 will give me the 6, and y times y will give me y squared. If that sign is negative, we've got to have a negative sign here. What do I multiply 3 by to make 9? Must be three, and what do I multiply three? Uh, what do I multiply y by to make x y? It must be x. And there's our answer. And I would suggest you check by expanding. So ensure you check your answer by expanding this back out.